Every once in a while, I learn something new about the health and fitness space, and it really excites me. And I'm really glad I have this platform to be able to come here, talk to you guys about this, and kind of get your opinions and hear what you guys think about this. Now, this one came to me while I was a bit dehydrated, and I was thinking about does dehydration affect your ability to lose body fat? Because that's a normal thought to have. But either way, I started looking up research on this topic and I did come across a few studies that were really interesting to me and I wanna share those with you today. Consuming more water seems to be a normal recommendation when individuals are trying to lose weight. And the original thought process behind that is because you're replacing other drinks that might be sugary beverages like coffee with sweetener or juices or sodas. So of course you're gonna be losing weight if you're reducing your calorie consumption. But is there something special about consuming water? Well, first I wanna break this down into three parts. First, we're gonna look at does water lead to weight loss? Second, the mechanisms of how this is? And third and finally, what to make of this. First off, does consuming more water seem to lead to weight loss? Yes. But of course, like everything, there is some context here and we can't just run off and chug a bunch of water and expect to lose weight. For example, a 2015 study found that when participants consumed 500 milliliters of water 30 minutes before their main meals, they had a greater amount of weight loss, concluding that preloading before main meals may be an effective weight loss strategy. And of course, we'll touch on why that is in a little bit. In another study with 50 overweight women, they were able to use the same parameters of consuming 500 milliliters of water 30 minutes before their meal, and they did see weight reduction, body fat reduction, and appetite suppression. And just for context, 500 milliliters of water is basically a standard water bottle. So that meant that throughout the day they were consuming just over one and a half liters of water a day. Now I wanna get into the second component of this and that's the why. Why does it look like consuming more water can lead to more weight loss? And I will say the science can get confusing here so I'm going to source things down below if you wanna read through this a little bit slower on your own or get some more detailed information. So check out those sources. So the first reason here is thermogenesis. So when we're consuming water that's either room temperature or even colder, our body is at a specific temperature of let's say 98 degrees. Through simple physics, the water is going to be cooling our core temperature, so our body has to produce more heat and more energy to raise that temperature up. And this can be as significant as two to 3% increase in energy expenditure. But I think this is a bit of a weak point because we could be consuming any zero calorie beverage that's just cold and be experiencing the same thing. So this reason isn't really specific to water per se. And the second reason is appetite suppression. And I don't really have a lot of research on why this is, but I have a few theories, maybe simply because your stomach is already full or the fact that as you take in more food, it mixes with the water and it gives you a more satiated feeling. I'm not entirely sure. You can check out more of that research down below, but it does seem to lead to appetite suppression. But the more scientific side to this is our third point. Our body has adipocytes, which are fat cells. And these fat cells can help break down triglycerides into usable energy for the body. But it can also go both ways. And research into this topic shows that as the adipocytes get more and more dehydrated, formation of triglycerides increase in the free fatty acids are not able to be transformed into pyruvate and thence metabolized in the mitochondria. So it seems like your body's ability to process fats into usable energy is hindered when you're dehydrated, which obviously can be a big issue, especially if you're trying to lose weight and reduce body fat percentage as a whole. So what do we make of this? There's really no downside to staying hydrated. So why wouldn't you try to stay as hydrated as you can or within normal limits? And that would be consuming at least three of these a day. I'm someone that seems to struggle with kind of overeating at a meal and then realizing that I had too much. And if this can help with appetite suppression, just simply consuming a water bottle before you, know, you eat your meal, then you know, might as well give it a shot and see if it is a trick that can help you. Although I think it's important to note that regardless of all these strategies, you can still simply be over consuming calories and still be adding weight. It's not like this is a miracle uh, cure, just consuming water. All these little tricks can be a tool to help aid in your weight loss journey. We still need to abide by the basics like staying in a calorie deficit, staying active. If you're someone that is trying to lose weight, this video over here are tips and tricks that I give my clients that are trying to lose weight as well. I hope you guys check that out. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys thought. Stay hydrated and have a good day.